Hi, I'm Kathy Krebs, and I'm a development scientist with Corning Life Sciences. There are so many different centrifuge tubes on the market today, but are they really all the same? Although the options are varied, there are several important attributes to keep in mind when selecting a centrifuge tube. In terms of quality assurance, the first thing scientists and researchers should look for is RNAs DNAs free certification. This certification implies that no solution in the container will degrade the customer sample, whether RNA or DNA. Here, you can see the presence of DNAs has degraded the sample severely. The second is non-pyrogenic certification, which refers to the products that are certified and tested to have less than or equal to 0.1 endotoxin units per milliliter. Bacteria shed endotoxin into their environment in small amounts when they are actively growing and in large amounts when they die. These endotoxins can affect the behavior of cultured cells and also have the ability to cause fever when injected into many organisms. Third, products made from virgin polypropylene imply that the materials of construction are not contaminated by being previously processed or used. Therefore, there is minimal risk that anything is present in the final molded product besides the polypropylene as defined by the supplier. This is important to ensure consistency from lot to lot. Lastly, be sure that the centrifuge tube cap is free of heavy metals in the color concentrate, which can leach into samples and affect the solution. Also, there continues to be increasing restriction on the disposal of heavy metals and the impact on the environment as they are toxic, and repeated exposure can cause health issues. Reliable quality provides peace of mind. Protect your samples by checking that your centrifuge tube is RNAs, DNAs free, non-pyrogenic, composed of virgin polypropylene, and is free of heavy metals.